everybody, it's Lindsay from I Can't Believe It's Keto and Lindsay's Keto Kitchen. We are making the croissant hot dogs tonight, uh, which I was going to make last oh, night, but hot dogs. plans changed. Annabelle's back there eating. What are you eating? Ghostopus! <laughs> we used hot dogs to make an octopus, but it only had four legs, and now it just has two. Anyway, so I'm going to use these for me and for Chris. They're natural franks. They're bigger than your normal hot dog. But I have these that I'm going to use for the kids. Um, and I'm going to see how many I can get out of this. So this is the dough, quote, dough that you make in order to wrap your hot dogs. It was it's an Uno plus. one and... Oh, I can't remember now. Was it one and three quarter cups, I think, mozzarella? The recipe's on my phone. <laughs> um, three quarters of a cup almond flour, one tablespoon, uh, what is it, cream cheese. All that's melted together in the microwave and mixed up and then you add one egg and I used my hands to like knead it together. And then you want it to cool just a little bit so that when you roll it out, it stays more like dough and it's not as soft. So you're gonna use a piece of parchment paper. Put your parchment paper down. Can you guys see this? I think you can. Maybe you can get a little closer. You're gonna get another piece of parchment paper to put on top so that it doesn't stick to your rolling pin. So, here we go. I'm gonna put this on top, like so. And I'm gonna kind of flatten it with my hands just to start. Can you guys see that in there? Okay, let me get my rolling pin. This is one of my favorite rolling pins. It's actually one that I used to roll out fondant when I baked cakes. Um, so you're just going to roll it out. I'm going to try to make kind of the shape of a square so I can get even strips out of it. <clears throat> that doggy today. Barking up a storm. Okay. So can you guys see it's getting kind of bigger here? I think you can see it without my shadow. I'll just keep rolling it out until you feel like it's the same thickness all the way across and just kind of feel it. Try to square it off a little. A trick to squaring off your dough when you're rolling out a circle of dough is to pull towards the corner like this and corner like this and now you see you have a square. Can you guys see that? See how it's kind of squared off at the top now? I'm going to do that one more time on this corner. There we go. We got a little square there. And do it on this corner. Bring your corners together. Over here. And I'm going to do this side. And then I'll peel off this parchment paper and you'll be able to see what it looks like. Okay. I think we're pretty good. Okay. I'm going to peel off this parchment paper. Try to go quickly because it will stick. If it starts to stick like mine just did, you can kind of rub it back on there like that. So there we go. So this is in the trash. Let's easy clean up. Now, this was the bowl I mixed in earlier. I'm going to open up my hot dogs. I'm just going to show you guys how to roll one. Um, so you don't have to watch me roll them all. These are cool, these hot dogs. This brand, what is it, Frank's? Oh no, Gilbert's. These are really cool because they come in uh, boxes uh, for they're minimally, minimally processed and they come in individually wrapped ones. So if you just want one for yourself, which oftentimes I roll up in a tortilla with cheese, you can just have one. You don't have to open the whole package. So that's pretty cool. Um, these are going to get baked. So you don't need to cook your hot dog prior to rolling it up. Okay. Let me get my pizza cutter. Here's my fancy pizza cutter. This looks a little thin. I'm going to roll it in. Okay, I'm going to roll strips of this that are going to wrap around your hot dog. And I'm going to do long strips. All right. I'm going to unwrap my hot dog. Woo! Run away, hot dog. We are also having burgers tonight with Wagyu beef. This is really good quality beef. This actually, I found it here at Cedar, so I'm super excited about that. Um, okay, now I'm going to start. Let's see, can you guys see how I'm kind of rolling this up right here? That's how you're going to get it off of your paper. Just 
start from the other direction. Can you, can you take my scarf off? I need to lean in. Thank you. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to start from this end. I'm going to roll it up. Or not. Oh, this might have to be a ditch video. Glad I'm not live. We're going to improvise. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is make sure that this is buttered or sprayed with uh, coconut oil or my butter so that it doesn't stick to my parchment paper. So let's try this again. I'm going to take this out. Will you grab the olive oil spray from, or the coconut oil spray from me, bitch? Um, Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I use this to make sure our pans are um, greased so that things don't stick. And also, spray it well, in here, like so. And I'm going to put my dough on this one. Shoot it down. And now let's get another piece of parchment paper. We're almost out. Put it on top. I know my top peeled off, so I'm not worried about that. Spray in that one. Roll it out again. Let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that this works. Okay, we're going to try this again, you guys. Here we go. Okay, we're going to start again. We're going to roll it up, see if it comes up off the paper. Oh, look, it works, you guys. We problem solved. Look at that. Ta -da! Okay, now I'm going to get some aluminum foil out. This is what I'm going to bake them on on a cookie sheet in the oven. Okay. Where's my hot dog? Here it is. Okay. So I'm going to start to unroll this around my hot dog in a diagonal direction. I'm going to roll the hot dog and your dough at the same time. Reposition it if you need to. If it starts to tear like mine just did, just fix it. Again, y'all, it's not perfection. There we go. Okay, so that's one. I'll do them really fast, and then I'll fast forward. Now we're going to put them in the oven. I have to look at the time and temperature, and then I'll post pictures when we're finished. Thank you guys for tuning in.